As recently as last year, 2023, the city of New York in the United States, a city that's a huge, huge metropolis with a you know, tens and tens of billion dollar budgets every single year. They spent $600,000 digitizing the voice of their mayor so he could communicate in different languages, responding to people's questions on their website. And when I checked as recently as yesterday, it was still sort of in the text version. They may have it on other parts of their websites, but they spent a lot of money on that. But that's much more affordable than a few years before, where presumably you would have had to spend millions and millions of dollars and have the power of supercomputers at your disposal to ingest all of the data, the audio files, the video files, and to be able to process it that way. Now, where are we? Here we are in May of 2024, and there are consumer platforms out there that allow you to do just that. Input all of your ideas, and the first level is it could then answer questions as you or as an individual or as an institution in a text format. Now, corporation, big corporations, big airlines, big, big hotels have been doing this for years. But now it has percolated down to everyday users. Consumers can do this. There are websites such as Be Human, such as Coach Fox, a lot of others that have now popularized this ability to use artificial intelligence to create a chatbot. Now, the interesting twist is some of these are now inputting audio and inputting the human voice. This was either impossible a short time ago or so wildly expensive, it was beyond the reach of anything other than large governments or the largest of corporations. Now, like everything else with computing power and artificial intelligence, it's gotten so much less expensive and so much easier. So today we're at the point where someone who's kind of a technological moron can use this technology. Who do I mean by calling someone a moron.